everybody. So we have just arrived. What's up, buddy? What's up, dude? <laughs> You're Give me some here. boom. Just go right down here and find a spot towards the end. You? I know uh, um, six right there on the right. I don't know if you can squeeze in there. If not, just go right on the other side. You got it, sir. Thank you so All much right? for the invite. Yeah, man, definitely. <laughs> Alrighty, so you guys might be wondering why am I sweating so much? Well, it's because I was just cleaning my car because this is a really special event not only for the cause of what we're doing which I'm gonna put like right here for you guys to check out but it's also due to the fact that it's so many people that have that are thinking about either I'm looking at to either help me with builds in the future or to help me with different things they're here and they're sponsors so I want to present my car in the best way possible and so, I mean, I'm waiting for my hood to cool off so that way I can then do the wireless wash and wax. But so far, I mean, I did a pretty good job of a quick wipe down and a quick cleaning of the whole car. And so now, we're gonna check out the cool cars that are at the show. First one I wanna start with is obviously my man John, thick F30 with his crazy M2, which I have something to ask you guys. Would you guys like to see me try to do pretty much the M4 seats like John did on his? Only difference is I would want to try to see if I can find pretty much the the M2 competition seats and put those in, in there because those are pretty much taken out of the M3 or M4. But the M2 seats actually, the M2 competition seats have actually like the blue like stitching and whatnot. Let me know if you guys want to try, want me to see that. When it comes to the M4 GTS, this was another car that's on my wish list. Just mainly due to the fact of the water injected system that is so rare nowadays on cars. Like I know the Porsche GT2 RS now has one. And so just seeing that is just, it's just so cool. And one thing I was thinking about is making it that way. Like if I was to do what this guy's doing, and when I pop the trunk, there'll be like a like a see-through panel. Not everything right here will be see-through, but it will be see-through to see that. The water injection system in the um, trunk. And one of the other people that I absolutely like are these guys right here. These guys are the main reason why I got a chance to actually be in this area because before I got here, this whole place was pretty much packed. There was no way for me to pretty much get here. But thanks to Dynamic Auto Tune, you guys, these guys pretty much saved me a spot in order for me to get here. So if you guys have pretty much any questions about your car, whether it be German, I even saw them even work on American cars at one point. If you guys have any questions about that or you guys need a place to do it and you're in the Charlotte area, these guys are literally the people I recommend because they not only take care of your car like it's their own, you can go up to them, put a camera in their face and ask them, hey, what are you doing to the car? And they will explain it to you step by step by step in order for you to create pretty much a pretty lovely video. So for people who know me, they know I love Performante. They know I love Lamborghini Huracan. What you get when you combine the pretty much forged carbon and a Huracan, my absolute dream car. I mean, even look at that right there, forged carbon. We also got forged carbon on the wing itself and forged carbon pretty much down, all the way down here. Now. I actually have read that there is a way for you to pretty much take your diffuser and pretty much get like this whole piece again, but pretty much the diffuser and this piece right here will all be forged carbon. And for me, yeah, I think that'd be a, a pretty cool modification to do. But yeah, everybody, let me know in the comment section down below what would be your dream car and why? Because for me, like I said, this would be it, but I know a lot of people dream of like owning like things like Koenigsegg, R8, you know, McLarens, Ferraris. Let me know what your dream car is and why, because that's actually a really interesting conversation that I like to talk to people about, because it then shows, okay, if I want this car, I have to put in this amount of work to keep it maintained and this amount of work to afford the repair bills. And for me, I know this one will require a lot of hard work and maintaining, but I think I'm ready for it. But maybe it's still a little bit extra work. What do you guys think? Lamborghini Huracan Performante, future car on the channel? 
All right, everybody, the M4 GTS is leaving. I mean, just look at how, how much of a presence that thing has. Oh my goodness, it looks so nice. And it sounds amazing. The pops and bangs from the M4 GTS. That is what I'm talking about. I, I'm gonna see if I can try to mimic my exhaust to be like that. It just sounds so good. Holy moly. Well, you guys, today was absolutely just incredible. Like, I'm so honored to have been able to come to this event and be here. Like I said, huge shout out to Dynamic Autotune for the opportunity to come here and film and the opportunity to be pretty much in the spot where I'm almost in front of their booth. Seriously, I feel really honored to be able to do that. So, like I said, if you guys need any, have any questions with your car, any questions about modifications, any questions about your build, give them a shout out and tell them I sent you. But that's it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys share the video out with everybody. And I look forward to seeing you guys next video. Take care, everybody, and have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching the video. Peace out.